So hello and welcome to the New Gig Podcast. I'm your host, Glenn Hodgson, and today I'm delighted to be joined by the co-founder of Paycon, Mr. Serge Stockett. How are you doing, Serge? Hi, Glenn. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you on the program. And let's begin things by you saying a little bit about your background and also Paycon. What are you up to and what are the problems that you're solving? Yes, thank you. Um, so myself, I started in startups about eight, 10 years ago, worked with different technologies, different industries, and eventually met my current co-founders, my team that we got involved with and pretty much accelerating the process of getting your goods to your house. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a fun journey. It's all about working with the right team. So I enjoy the, the people that I'm with. Sounds good. Sounds good. That's like everything in life. It's the right people you got around with, around you that, 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 that makes everything in terms of uh, uh, spurring you on, but also having the arms and legs and brains to make sure that everything's happening. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Uh, very, very good indeed. And just say a little bit about, you know, digitalization is a, is a big thing, getting into all parts of our lives, um, no less than the retail sector as well. So say a little bit about the sort of the next generation retail solutions and what Paycon is doing to be able to, uh, to, to address these things and create new opportunities? Yeah, so as we all have kind of gotten the experience of Amazon transitioning consumers into that instant gratification of getting your products immediately, it has trickled down to new industries, which is now currently the groceries. And it's just an, a new behavior that people are picking up and it's hard to get away from because, yeah. you know, the consumers, instead of having to wait days, what used to be three to five days or a week is now the next day or the same day. And we're, we're pretty much doing that for, for the retail segment. Yeah. Starting with groceries, but that also goes down to pharmacy, clothing, uh, home improvement goods. So pretty much accelerating the process of, getting these goods that you would like to have straight yeah. to your house without having the consumer to take the into the store and deal with every traffic and the challenges of the day. Well, exactly. And this is the, this is a great point because, you know, I, 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 I think the sort of the Amazonification of, of, of life that people want everything and they want now. And also the fact that people are more and more willing to be able to kind of, uh, uh, strike away the more boring, tedious elements of life as well. And, you know, there's not a, a great number of people who really look forward to sort of going and doing sort of regular groceries shopping or other kind of items that you're looking for. If there's a way that you can make this easier, simpler, and it arrives. I remember about sort of uh, would have been about sort of 20 years ago when I first did sort of online shopping and, uh, you know, it would come, uh, probably seven days later, if you were lucky. And then when they arrived, they'd say, well, we don't have any bananas. We don't have any milk today. So you have to do that next time. And it's amazing how the sort of the, the whole process um, and, and, and the satisfaction uh, for, for, for customers has moved on over that time. Definitely. I see it a lot in just regular food delivery, pizza, tacos. Once people get that gratification, of you know spending time at home with their families and then mm. the thing gets there they don't have to cook dinner now with groceries it's almost taking away a whole chore that they would have to do that takes a lot more time than just picking up you know the dinner for for the evening it's a yeah. real process it's almost your everyday work that people have to go through and now yeah. we're able to cut that out and turn that into its own little economy yeah absolutely absolutely so it's it's really changing and opportunities that are being that are being created as uh, 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 as well amongst this so give us a little bit more of the details about how sort of the paycon solution uh, operates how does it help uh, retailers to be able to fulfill uh, through this through the back end yeah so there's in in the segment there's actually two types of solutions you have the robotic uh, conveyor belt system which 
you can kind of imagine as a large vending machine with over mm -hmm. 80,000 80, SKUs or however many they have. But first of all, they would have to go through the process of rebuilding their whole facility to make that happen. Yeah. And it's not, it's not fully effective yet because of the different temperatures and picking processes. For example, with uh, cold goods, yogurt or eggs, milk, or maybe some frozen goods, it's not fully optimized yet to the, to the way it needs to be. And yep. at the same time, it's very costly to kind of rebuild the retail store into this vending machine. So yep. what we have done is we have developed more of a hybrid solution for the current stage of the market. And what we do is we equip their shopping carts with the proper hardware that turns it into a smart shopping cart and provide them the softwares to basically fulfill the orders the most effective way possible. That's through combining orders, for example, throughout yeah. the shopper throughout the store mm. because as you're picking the items or 100 orders per day every step counts so instead of the shoppers walking an additional three four five miles per day yeah. we can cut that out not only is it helping the, the actual company on reducing their costs but it also helps the shopper kind of doing the same job that they're doing in a more effective and easier way yeah and that's that's pretty much a we look at it as like a hybrid solution for retailers that still has the human factor. Yeah. And then certain for certain stores that might actually be beneficial that want to remain a little more human before yeah. they go into the full robotic automation. Well, it is. I mean, it seems to be the best of both worlds. It's it's the uh, uh, it's the autom automation element in there, Serge. But at the same time, it's also creating jobs opportunities for people there as well it's a kind of a a good halfway house because a lot of people who just don't want a fully automated uh machine interaction experience mm -hmm. yes we do see that as well we we saw it in the delivery the last mile delivery and now it's going a little bit further into the actual stores where people are uh, working in these gig economies of yeah. picking orders and providing that new customer experience that didn't exist before. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And of course, this means new things for companies and individuals in terms of new products and services as well. I mean, what's the, uh, what's the next step, Serge, down this, uh, down this line? So for us currently, um, we started talking to the specific Q-commerce companies as well. They are closed off to the public. They're uh, inside dark stores and yeah. we've we focused on accelerating their processes but we're also looking into new industries like i was mentioning home improvement pharmacies pretty much everything that has product and you get to the consumer we want to be there to facilitate and improve those processes yeah yeah absolutely so it's kind of making the traditional sector better in a lot of cases as well that we're talking about here Serge. Yeah, I mean, saving time, yeah. you know, that's, that's, that's the main product we offer here is our most valuable asset. And we want to make sure people get to retain as much of it as they can. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And this is it, the, the, the hand in hand process of uh, humans, machines, which are making life better for everyone, as opposed to being this kind of doom laid an image that certain elements of the of the media like to be able to portray that this is sort of killing jobs uh killing opportunities and and changing society where it's more a helping hand for everyday people to be able to do more uh, and, and and use their time in a better way yes definitely i mean it's a new industry so yeah there's new jobs new opportunities and yeah, I guess we're like the the in between from human to robot, and we get to be <laughs> the ones kind of building that relationship for for humans. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're the, you're, you're the good guys who are facilitating mm -hmm. these things within that within that within that process, and it's uh, you know it's something that can really go sort of further and further as well. That kind of the tipping point almost seems to be that when the big established players. Uh, use more and more of these uh, 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 solutions and services within their existing operate, 
offerings that sort of takes us to a different level and hopefully allows us to sort of get that sort of uh, uh, injection of the uh, platform gig and freelancing economy uh, and the technology and the digitalization, which is all part and parcel of that, actually injected into sort of the, uh, the, the, the traditional businesses and traditional sectors. Yes, um, that's another, that's actually another one uh, of our benefits that we provide is we make it easier for new employees to come on and start the process. So previously, in certain cases, they're utilizing more complicated hardware, Zebra devices, we yeah. kind of took that, and simplified it. So as new new employees come in, they're able to go through a training. It's almost like a training for your iPad that shows you basically how to use it. And they're yeah. able to start start their journey in, in this new field by self-training with the technology without having to, you know, worry about how, how they want to get their job done or yeah. what to do. They to get like a small on-ramp and then from there they're able to come back and work there kind of at their convenience. Mm. So this is another area it's freeing up time of that sort of instruction and education as well which is part and parcel of most uh, jobs that it takes a certain amount of time and effort to get people up to, up to speed before they can actually uh, do things properly. Here's a way that that, that, that process is being speeded up uh, and made more mm -hmm. efficient as well. Yep, they, they have a kind of a training program with their technology. So that way they don't, they, we even have, for example, mock orders. So okay. they, don't, they don't have to worry about, you know, messing up or doing something not right. They can almost come practice, you know, see how they like it. Then if they enjoy what they're doing, then they can go on to the next step and actually working with real orders and real processes. Yeah, yeah. great. So it's kind of this... Uh... Uh, really safe environment that you can learn the trade, learn the craft, and of course get up to speed as well, because that must be one of the elements with these sort of just-in-time deliveries as well, that the, the element of speed in there as well as accuracy that needs to be sort of brought, uh, brought into play. Yes, definitely. Great stuff, great stuff. And, you know, when we, we talk about the, the retail sector uh, with, your, with, with, with your crystal ball getting that out Serge now where do you think the uh where, where do you think the sector is heading what is it the businesses or is it consumer-led as well that sort of new changes and developments will be will come from I see a more of a consumer -led, uh, as they pick up the convenience of getting you know their goods to their house the ones that are still going to the store will just require a new type of experience. So it wouldn't make sense anymore to go and walk around the same aisles. It's, mm. it, almo it will turn grocery shopping to almost being at work. Yeah. And people don't want that. So I see a, a serious revolution in the layout of stores and the way they... Uh, provide their goods the way the the experience overall is right now you come in get your stuff wait <laughs> in line you get out yeah i don't see i don't see that working anymore for them so mm. it i i see a serious change that they will have to do with demos and actually the the people that are in store to be a relationship based so actually connecting with the uh, people that are coming in and talking to them and yeah overall just changing the whole experience and it's a big one because of course the the retail experience has been something that's been honed and developed over sort of decades in terms of where each uh can or packet is placed eye line sort of setting out things which is which has been done on a very sort of uh traditional way despite despite the sort of the uh uh, changes and developments. The traditional model has been sort of getting it, people into the shores, stores, as you say, getting them to sort of choose things, buy for the stuff, and, uh, and, then, and then, then get out again. Whereas, yeah, much more of an experience-led uh, uh, um, relationship needs to be catered for. And then the basics, the commodities, you can just go in and get in a very simple and and, and, and efficient way. Yes, um, we do have some things in line for. For the shoppers as well, our okay. smart cards that, that can be utilized within the stores to enhance that experience. For example, it doesn't make sense to stand in line 
yep. since you already placed everything in your basket. So yep. we are developing uh, technology for the consumers shopping within the stores as well, which, okay. you know, it's still kind of uh, underground, but maybe in a future time we can go into that and I can share more of what we're doing for that experience as well. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be great to hear because these are things that really are at the cutting edge uh, and, and what we see coming down the pipe uh, is really interesting for us to see and how this can change the uh, relationships more broadly, because a lot of things we've seen with digitalization and sort of the gig economy, platform economy, it has started at this end uh, uh, of the, the consumer led phase. And then, of course, now we're seeing in the world of work future of work which has changed as well people are demanding more and more of this kind of flexibility uh choice and facilitation by digitalization in the kind of traditional office experience as well and that's why you know we, 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 we're seeing these changes coming down the line and we need to be able to be ready for them and we need to be able to adapt to them as well yes I, I agree. It is happening faster now, especially after the, the COVID pandemic. It's been accelerating our digitalization for everybody. Yes. Every industry. Yeah. Yeah. No, and we still seem to see what happens with you folks in the US first, then probably sort of the, the, the UK and then sort of Northern Europe shortly afterwards. So it, it's really interesting for us to see what the sort of the latest tre trends, changes and developments that are ongoing that we'll probably be seeing over here very, very soon. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> it's the time zones. It's the time zone piece, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We're catching up and I think very open and very willing and eager to hear, but also learn and, and roll out a lot of these new uh, services and solutions. And I think that this is something that's gonna just accelerate as time goes on and people are, uh, you know, very, very quickly get used to things. And I think this demand in terms of quick commerce and the, 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 the back end behind this uh, and this consumer uh, uh, centered relationships is something that's going to uh, uh, expand and develop. Yes. I mean, it's all the behavior and patterns. Once people get used to a more convenient way, it just takes over and it doesn't make, you know, we all want our life to be easier and faster and simpler. Yeah. So well, once, once they experience that, it's, it's there to stay. It's not going anywhere. It absolutely is. And Serge, well, it's been fantastic to hear your thoughts, insights, but also hear the great things that Paycon are doing at the moment. And we really want to sort of stay on board, stay close and hear about new solutions as and when they are uh, uh, available to be discussed with a broader audience. Yes. Um, thank you so much, Gwen. I, I appreciate your time as well. Thank you, sir. Excellent.